Hello everyone, my name is Uthris and we are in Transport Fever today, trying out this new game that just released on Steam. Uh, you'll notice that one, it's a little quiet in the background because this <laughs> main lobby music is ridiculously loud and there's no way to control the volume of it. So sadly, you guys won't be listening to the smooth jazz in the background or anything like that. It is kind of, I just had to mute it. it it's unrecordable in my opinion and it's just a little ridiculous. So what we're going to be doing is going into a free game today. If you guys want to see some of the campaign, you can let me know that down below. But also, you know, a whole lot of people have already done a lot of the campaign stuff. And I just kind of want to jump straight into the game and test everything out. I haven't done pretty much anything beyond the tutorial. And this is basically my first playthrough of this game. So we'll just go ahead and go over the, some of the options that we're going to be using. We're going to be in Europe. Pretty straightforward on that one. Um... I just like the scenery in Europe, you know, the lush green fields with some of the nice really mountains, kind of almost like the Alps kind of area, kind of Western Europe there. Uh, we're just going to do a small world. We're going to have a uh, medium terrain type, so we will have some hills to overcome. Uh, world format, one to one. Start year, earliest, 1850. And then the difficulty, easy, because I'm a noob and will probably fail. Yeah. So... The seed will just be random, and we'll just go ahead and get started. Okay, here we are. This is our map. Let's go ahead and pause the game and take a little glance around of the area. So, um, it's actually much bigger than I thought it would be. The small map is actually rather impressive in terms of just size. And everything, though, is spread out quite a distance. So, we'll, we'll hopefully be able to tackle what we need to do. Man, these towns are really spread out, aren't they? Okay. Uh, I know in Transport Tycoon, generally what I would do is just transport between two towns in terms of passengers starting off. But this, we might have to... Well, it looks like we might have an easy road route here. Uh, taking things from the farm over here to the processing plant. So that'll be a nice, quick little route, hopefully. And then taking it from the processing plant that makes food into this town. Uh, if you press numpad 9, you can see your kind of town layout here, and you can take a look at our residential, you can see all that stuff, and then the commercial building, of course, this needs food and things, so we can kind of make a depot in the central town there. Uh, over here we have, it looks like we can take grain as well to this plastic processing plant, which we do have access to grain here, so maybe we'll do livestock to here, which We'll turn to food and then we'll take grain from here and turn that into plastic. So two grain for one plastic, it looks like. Or maybe it's one oil and two grain. I don't quite know how to read that, but we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll get it done. It's not uh, too worrisome. Let's see if there's anything like this. Two wood and a steel or two wood steel... Huh. Don't really know quite how to read these, but it looks like steel plastic would make machines. I think that bar just designates the recipe. So I'm not too worried about that. Uh, we can go to the information screen as well and check out all of this stuff here. Yeah, it requires grain and oil. Let's, let's just give this a go and, and basically take a look at what we got. All right, now, what I want to do, um, I could either do this by wagon. Uh, we have access to that. It is only 1850, so no cars this early. And this is actually all uphill, and trains do not like going uphill. So I would prefer to try and keep those to flat lands. So why not just... Put us a road depot down here, just along the path. Probably here would be the most commonly used area for these. And if we can get a fleet of wagons, just basically just start this thing off. All right. Let's grab our industrial here. You know, we're probably going to need a large station, and that's going to make the most sense for us. If we hold shift, by the way the rotation keys of N and M will uh, be a little bit more finer so you can get some cleaner lines on your items here. So 
That is a large, and we'll do another large here. Now, I assume we probably only need a small in the town. So we'll do that, and in the town itself, we'll do a small truck station. Hopefully not taking out too many of our buildings here. Oh boy, that's uh, the narrow streets. Now I think this is probably the best we're going to get. We'll just take out two buildings and hope for the best. Maybe get that lined up a little bit smoother. There we go. Very centralized into the town. And you can upgrade these. So I can expand it to a large one if needed later on. So initially, let's go ahead and start shipping livestock over to the food processing plant. And what I want to do is buy a road vehicle. Freight, of course. Now, horse wagon is about all we can get right now. We're going to go into this and set it as a livestock and then we're going to make a new line i'm going to add this station here at the farm if i actually hit the add button correctly and then over here to the mirror south location so that's the yellow line in fact you can change the color of these and since we're doing livestock let's find uh let's do a nice brown i think that's for steak or something you know, a nice well-cooked steak. Nice seared edge on it. And we're going to need a, a fleet of these vehicles. But we're going to space them out. So let us go ahead and launch this guy to line one. Go ahead and hit play. The doors will open and our wagon will be released. Going breakneck speed on his dirt trail. Off he goes. Okay, let's buy another wagon. And let's go ahead. How many do you think we need? We'll probably need, let's just do this. One, two, three, four, five total. Let's just do five total, see if we can kind of get a rotation going on here. And we'll do five of the grain as well. Okay, so one, two, three, four. So all of these here will be livestock. All right. Now road vehicle two. Let's speed up time here and wait till it gets about to the halfway down this main road. And then we'll send out number two for line one. And I believe you can rename these lines. And if you don't want to color coordinate, you know, naming them is another good way uh, to get this stuff kind of laid out. So let's just send that to line one. And hopefully this, this will get pretty busy once we get the other five for the grain as well. All right, vehicle three, you will be going to line one as well momentarily. Now you could have also probably set up a large freight line doing it pretty much everything at once in one smooth motion but that's a little advanced and me just starting out i think uh taking it a little slower would be more beneficial hopefully i hope this works out you never know with these games you can be an hour in and then find out oh we're we're losing we're, we're not gonna make it Okay, our first guy is going to make it here soon. Just waiting for it to get to that little rock there. All right. And if you guys have played Transport Tycoon again, this is going to be very similar to it. You're going to be, you know, coming up to these, these pathing elements and, and slowly developing these towns as they kind of dynamically grow based on how well you're providing services to them. Kind of wish I could speed it up just a fraction faster than, than three times. So four times or five times, I think would be pretty nice to have. And line one, there we go. Okay, so new one. 
Let's buy a road vehicle again. So this will be another horse wagon. And the horse wagon will be using grain. Where is the grain? There it is. In fact, let's uh, get the whole fleet. Four and five. Change all this to grain. Grain. This one I can just go ahead and send out on line one. Grain and grain. Now, I'm spacing these out for a couple reasons. One, it does take time to load, and so you kind of save some time by uh, allowing it to build up resources to be picked up, but also allowing uh, your cars enough time to load and unload. So you do need to space these out just enough so that they can actually work in your favor. Now, I could also construct probably a quicker route upwards. In fact, that might be something to consider in this case. Let's just keep the depot window up there and maybe we could easily wind a road up there. And it doesn't have to be fancy because really these things can't go faster than 40 anyways. So this steep incline, I mean, it will have a couple switchbacks most likely just to keep the speed good. Let's just give it a try. You know, have some fun with uh, with what you're doing. What the? Why can't it just go straight? Okay. Well, that's not what I thought it would do. And it's leaving quite the ugly little J shape left over. You know, let's just... I mean, really... A straight shot's just gonna be the fastest route, probably. And we'll just take these over here. And the route should basically auto-update to the fastest. So if you take a look at our line, line one, you can see it's already switched to that, which should give us more money because of the quicker turnaround. Actually, let's go ahead and release our other vehicles. I don't know the delay on that. That was a little long. And hopefully we'll get into trains at some point, uh, laying out more complicated routes and things. As we just slowly lose money, most likely, is what will happen. You know what? Let's, let's just... There you go. Off you go. Let's go ahead and set up the next part of this little journey here. We are producing... Some bread! which we can take into town. So, uh, let's see, do you wanna make a bypass here and make that kind of a sweeping motion? Oop. Okay, no, I don't like that, let's... What, what is this thing doing? Listen to my commands! It's a little weird. You know, let's, let's do a T-junction and then curve it. Because I think that'll just look... Well, I thought it was going to look better. There we go. Just a nice, gentle country road up through the hillside. And we'll just make this... Well, that's, that's really cutting into the landscape. That really increases the price of the road. So doing it in segments, we'll spend a little bit of money to get it up to this height and then spend less money taking it away. I think that's a little bit of a cheaper option. 
All right, so from there, let's go ahead and buy a road vehicle. That's going to be another horse wagon. I'm gonna buy that. I'm gonna set up a new line. New line. This one is going to be carrying food, right? So the color of that. Let's do a teal for maybe bread. And we'll add these two stations there. Nice and quickly. And then this one will be food. And we'll get probably five as well. Now I kind of wish uh, Transport Tycoon did have a copy function where you could copy a vehicle plus its route. Uh, there might be a way to do that in here. I just don't know of it quite yet. All right, line two. Let's let's rename these lines real quick. So line one, we'll just rename this. This will be the uh, grain slash livestock shuttle. Okay, line two. We'll rename this to the uh, bread shuttle. That way, you know, I don't have to remember the color quite as much, and I'm just focusing more on uh, the name of the line. So, yeah, bread shuttle. Off you go. And we do have some bread waiting for us. And the cool thing about Transport Fever is the cargo is very visual. You can see it stacking up, and they're going to stack up in boxes initially, and then as more and more get stacked here, uh, what will happen is it'll turn into a little cargo container, saying that, hey, this area is full, we'll move up and start stacking elsewhere. All right, send out the bread shuttle. And these guys are making some money. You can check out the finance. You can see our running cost is relatively low compared to our profit. And uh, right now we're making about 8K a year profit on these guys. Or it could be a monthly profit too, but I'm pretty sure it's a yearly kind of staple here. So, okay, bread shuttle, you go. And then the last bread wagon will take place here in a moment. And then we have a, a full production line kind of taken care of. You can see the bread's really stacking up. You know, we have three bread symbols there. And we also have a whole bunch of more livestock and grain. In fact, we'll we'll start shipping grain, I, I think, by train up to there. And we might be able to even ship... Oh boy, that oil is going to be rather complicated to get it around that mountainside. Road vehicle, go to bread. The bread shuttle needs to happen. How much does this one make me? Decent. It's a decent amount. It's not too bad. I'll give it a few years and uh, you'll, you'll really start seeing its overall trend line forming. You can really see the population moving about. And you can ship the population around to, so you can ship these guys from the residential to maybe the factories or maybe even to the commercial area to help them, you know, spend their money a little bit more quicker and efficiently. Let's... Let's see about connecting these two ends here. I do really prefer to have neater roads. Let's connect that there. And this will allow loops to form naturally kind of in routes when we start actually laying out larger buses, bus systems throughout here. <laughs> it looks so janky though. 
Oh wow, we have so much bread stacking up, guys. It's a little much. No, we're, we're gonna have to really increase our bread shuttle fleet. So, one, two, three, four, five. And we will grab more food. All the food we can handle. Bread shuttle, go! Release into the wild. Yes. Go, my ponies. Perfect. And we also have a lot of grain and livestock building up as well. Which we could translate into even more profit if we wanted to. And I think we might. We might, uh... Might do that. So, let's, let's get up to ten. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So, more... Where is it? Where, where... Is the menu kind of hiding it? Yeah, it was. Okay, so... Livestock times five here. Three... Four... Five... And grain. Where's the grain? If I could actually spell, it would have probably helped me find these in, in the menu here. Grain. Set line. You're all going to the grain livestock shuttle. Off you go. Ten more horses. Ten times two. So that's actually 20 horses. But I, who's, who's keeping track? We're just watching them release. You can also take a ride on these. So if we go here, you can go into first person camera view. And you can ride the whole route. And take in the sights and sounds of the carriages moving about. You can recolor the carriages. Uh, the little wood paneling on the side can be recolored. That's super loud. With all that background noise, let's go ahead and do times three. And you can just see this fleet moving its way over. And I hope to slowly build up our enterprise going forward. Uh, we could even start setting up bus routes in here into the town. This is our town that we're supporting. If we go into the city and click on Mare... You can bring up some charts here. So you can see population is 274. Uh, mediocre in terms of providing bread. Poor in terms of providing jobs. And you can even take it. We can rename this town. You can see the chart of population and things. And my frame rate just totally tanked. I think the autosave is the cause of that. You know, why not, why not add some bus routes? That'll be kind of our final thing this initial episode. So let's turn on the district's camera here. Try and capture as much as this is possible. So I think that's more housing. So we'll put it kind of at that end. And throw another bus route there. And we're going to need a vehicle depot kind of in town to service these vehicles probably a little bit quicker. There we go. That's a that's a decent spot. And stagecoach. Let's start with probably two. Make a new line. Now we'll color this kind of a light green. And just do a simple point A to point B kind of route here. Whoa, that's... That's a very interesting route it shows. Not efficient. At all. Like, it'll be almost worth adding a station here just so that way it makes sense as to why it's going that way. But okay, so let's see. This is what uh, the mayor work line, I guess. So we'll call that the work mayor work line. Okay, set line. Now these you definitely want to space out because people do take their time for sure. So the mayor work line, off it goes. 
we'll send this one out pretty much as soon as this hits that end. That way we kind of have a turnaround rate. That's somewhat decent, I hope. And we are making some profit here, so I'm not, I'm not too worried about money right now, though it will be a concern when we start working on trains. Trains are a money sink, but they also make you a lot of money, potentially. All right, let's send out the second carriage for the mayor work line. Not really gonna find anyone, but I do like the looks of these carriages, very old school. And I hope these houses kind of here kind of go to this station and these areas go to this station and then we can kind of get a movement of people going back and forth. But that stuff does take time. We're probably going to have to introduce a third one though in the long run. I hope this is profitable. I really do. Where are you going? You're going home. I don't think any of them like the work line. Do you guys like the work line? It doesn't look like you guys like the work line. Don't want to go to work, people? Get a job. Okay, we'll just get three going and, and hope for the best. Okay, so you can... Wow, we have the our fleet of... Sh Definitely a whole bunch of carriages going through here, and these, these are our money makers Hauling back and forth really taking up the hillside oh, And we just lost a bunch of money, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and just finish the episode here uh, By taking a look at our overall balance made a profit of 50k last year not too bad Especially since uh, we've, we've only used half of our starting money, so I think we're at a decent start uh, we can even repay some of our loan if our loan interest is taking a decent chunk here. So I'm going to go ahead and pay off a decent amount of that. I'm going to pay off about a million. So take out a third of our loan. That'll give us about a 10k yearly profit back based on interest, I hope. So if you guys enjoyed a little bit of transport fever, go ahead and see your doctor because now you have a cold. And go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. See me build some more creative stuff like this. Go ahead and leave a comment down below on maybe renaming some of our towns and cities and potentially bus routes. Also, tell me what you want to see next. So, until then, I'll see you all in the next episode.